It's Trooper Cody and Steve here with another one of our Australian Light Horse videos. And how do you describe Gallipoli? You'd need a two hour documentary, you still couldn't do it properly. It's November at the moment. So in November 1914, two enormous armies are in stalemate on the Western Front. They are entrenched from the Swiss Alps to the coast. They're getting nowhere. A young fella with an amazing rank of First Lord of the Admiralty comes up with this plan where if the British Navy can smash its way through the Dardanelles, a narrow channel, See what I mean about how hard this is to explain? If the British Navy can smash their way through there, get to Constantinople, take Constantinople, join up with the Russians, attack the Germans from a completely different front, maybe the war can be saved. That was Winston Churchill's great plan. Note, there is no mention in that plan of army involvement. Churchill was not his plan was not well received. People were against him. People didn't want him to succeed. He was set up for failure. They gave him an admiral to do that job that had never, he was an administrator that had never fired a shot or been on a shot, ship that had fired a single shot. He was in charge of a harbour and he was about to retire. They sent him with the fleet to the Dardanelles to smash his way through the Dardanelles. When he got there, in Australian colloquialism, he was shit scared and he did not want to lose a single sailor. He made a tentative attack, it was a disaster. He pulled back and simply had a nervous breakdown and refused to get out of his bed. So they sent another admiral. The second admiral went there. Uh, is it getting boring? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll close it down. The second admiral went there and when he got there, he made an attempt to attack the Dardanelles. Huge all-day bombardment, six battleships lost, thousands of, of um, Navy, British Navy people killed. They retreated at the end of the day. The Turk losses in entrenched artillery on the sides, both sides of the Dardanelles were 29. 29 Turks killed for the loss of six battleships, countless casualties. The British then decided, can't be done. We're going to have to think of another way of doing this. What they didn't know, the Turks were out of ammo. There's no more uh, artillery shells were left. If the British had done it again the next day and smashed the Navy, they could have got to Constantinople. They could have joined up with the Russians who knew what would happen. Instead, called it quits, let's bring in the army. More next time. Thank you.